Hi there, Bruce the Water Guy here. It's that time of year when uh, the flows are really low and we're able to take parts of the plant uh, out of service so that we can uh, maintain them and clean them out. Today we are doing a confined space entry on our flocculation tanks. This is where we do chemical addition to aid in the uh, settling of some of the solids and helps in the phosphorus removal. So uh, our guys are gonna do a confined space entry going into this tank. They're gonna have uh, air monitors on themselves, uh, harnesses, hard hats uh, as they go down and try to clean out the excess sediment uh, that has accumulated over the last year or so uh, in this tank. And uh, we'll take a closer look as they go down there and perform some of this work. Believe it or not, uh, a lot of the stuff that settles down in the bottom we call grit. Uh, not only is sand and grit that passes through different parts of the system, but it is largely made up of snails, these little teeny tiny snails that grow in the bottom of the trickling filter system. These macro organisms or larger organisms, uh, seeing as most of the bugs that do the work of the nutrient removal are microorganisms, uh, they do aid in the removal of ammonia through the treatment process. However, they do die and slough off and uh, need to accumulate somewhere. And this is one of those basins where we can remove them. So let's take a look at the guys down there getting some work done. Well, now that the work is done and the tanks are cleaned out and back into service, let's take a brief look at how this process actually works. As the water enters this tank, ferric chloride and acid is added to the water. There is a mixer that flash mixes the entire tank to distribute the ferric chloride, which bonds with the phosphate ions to uh, create a heavier particle. As the water moves through these tanks, we then add polymer to take the flocculated particles, coagulate them into larger particles that will better settle out in a clarifier. This is how the water looks entering the clarifier. You see the large flock particles. The water enters the center of the tank. It has detention time for the solids to settle down to the bottom of the tank along with the phosphorus reducing the amount of phosphorus that is in the water. And as the water exits the tank through these weirs, you see there are no longer those large particles retaining the solids in the tank to be sent to a digester system as the clear effluent, nearly phosphorus free, leaves the plant. Well, thanks for taking a closer look at this part of the treatment process as we perform some of the annual maintenance to keep our system up and running and the tanks clean so that we can treat and clean the water uh, that we use and abuse on a regular daily basis and return it responsibly to the environment cleaner than where it was received. This is Bruce the Water Guy. Have a nice day.